I'll see you tomorrow, Sonny. How about I see your mum tomorrow? You still open, mate? If you're quick. <laughs> Cheers. Oi, I said if you're quick. Quick don't require no basket now, does it? Right then, time to block out the guilt and shame of another wasted week. Better make it three litres, just to be sure. Bingo. Long attention shoppers. Whilst I'd love to stand here all night, I've got places to go, so... It's all right. Oi, oi. Who's in tonight? Nobody, we're closed, mate. Shit. Not too bright, are you, mate? Where's the safe? Oi! Fuck face! Where's the safe? <laughs> I'll ask you one more time. Where's the fucking safe, then, boy? I'll make this very simple. You're gonna take my friends here. You're gonna open the safe, give them all the cash, or he's gonna cut the fucking face off you. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm kind of a rush here, mate. Well, go. When I open my eyes, this nightmare will be over. <laughs> give me your phone. Let's try that again. Come with me. Don't move. Don't say a word. What the fuck? Thank God I'm not alone. If someone has to be stabbed, taken hostage, or beaten to a bloody pulp, please let it be them and not me. Oh my god, she's beautiful. So fucking beautiful. The way she glides across the floor is mesmerizing. And with her top shifted significantly downwards, an alluring inch of bra cup is revealed. I don't think I've ever seen anything so seductive in my entire life. Hang on. She just brushed against my balls. Do not get an erection, Josh. Do not get an erection. Don't you try to move or I'll take your eyes. My heart's beating so fast, I think it's going to burst through my ribcage. But I don't think it's beating in fear of him. The butterflies in my stomach tell me it's her. Are you okay? Oh my god, her hands are so soft. It's more than fairy liquid soft, it's pan spun from the finest silk soft. God, she smells good. And I think I can hear Bowie playing through the earphone draped around her neck. I think I'm in love with this girl. It's okay. I won't let them hurt you. Just close your eyes. I tell you to open them, everything will be fine. I promise. When we get out of here... I told you to keep your fucking mouth shut! What's going on out there? What's wrong with me? I should be terrified, in fear of my life. So why can't I stop looking at her breasts? She's frightened, vulnerable, quivering like a beaten kitten, holding my hand for comfort. And here I am, Gawping at her wide-eyed like a schoolboy who's just discovered the 10-minute free view on Filthy Chicks Channel 496. Fucking bad. But I can't resist. I don't understand these feelings so unnecessarily strong. I would birth our children through the end of my penis if a man I could marry her. I don't know if it's just the heightened emotions one feels under such extreme circumstances as this. Whether the fear and adrenaline has manifested itself into pure lust. I don't know.
Maybe Cupid wears a balaclava. And this is his way of bringing us together. Max! Let's go! Max! One minute. Ah, fuck it. Put it my fucking name. There he goes. Should I have tried to stop him or something? What a loser. I don't think I've ever wanted anything more in the entire world than for this girl to love me, but she's going to think I'm a coward. I am a coward. Fucking pathetic loser coward. Thanks. For keeping your promise. I like the look of this. Call for backup. Back up to budget? Please. Please. Hang on a minute. She looks like she's up for it. And who am I to deny her such a thing? I should never have doubted myself. Maybe Cupid's arrow struck us both and this entire night was staged by the forces above to bring us together, to forge our connection and spark true love in its purest form. One day, I will find the man in the balaclava and unreservedly thank him for introducing me to perfection, to the girl with the mascara tears, to that inch of black lace, to this warmth, to this feeling, to this perfect moment. Fucking want some.